Hello everybody, welcome to um, CCL Season 50 Round of 16 match between Thomas T and his Dark Elves and Crystal Hunter and his Skaven. Uh, Crystal Hunter was 70 TV down, he put in 30 TV to get a bribe. He won the choice, chose to receive. In the booth with me is Fault Force. Hello. Hello. Um, Imagine being so fucking obsessed with rats that thanks, you've thanks got thanks on for holiday that sandwich. and you... And like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why the uh, fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus. Right. Oh, it's a, it's a um, nice pickup. Thank you, and Victor. Go straight onto the gutter. Yes, well, he gets the chance at the catch, yeah. The batch five, so he's got a good chance, hasn't he? Three plus in the rain. Gets it. And yeah, so Chunter just going for the bang outs here. Uh, he hasn't got much tackle. That's the bad thing. Like he's got a, he's got a full claw on with frenzy. But he, he's, he's got tackle on the strength fall, claw mighty. He's got a wrestle tackle uh, lineman somewhere um, here. And there's a lot yeah, of the, blood step. The rain, does the rain affect it too much in this matchup? Uh, I guess once he's got hold of the ball, he's not looking to he's not looking to put it down, is he? No, yeah, the rain's probably not going to be too impactful. Um, but you know, it's not know. like Henry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's loads of loads of blood step and stuff on the delves, and they've got a tackle pommer of their own. So if he can get his hands on a, certainly a gut run is really good, but he can't Ooh. pile on willy nilly because he could just get fouled out. So it's, that's it's a, a claw pom storm vermin. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's pretty nice. Yep, fourteen players for Chunter, twelve for Thomas T, and Chunter has his ghetto one turner on the bench there <laughs> just to sprint to your feet, <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> But it, it does the job. Hello. Right? It does the job. Hello, Fymir. Somebody has stumbled into the booth. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, how are you? Uh, how are you doing? Uh, very busy, <laughs> but I still have some time for Thomas T. and Chanter. Well, well, Fymir, do you know who to dedicate the this match to? <laughs> All right, you want me to do it? <laughs> yes, please. Okay, guys, this absolutely big game is dedicated to our viewers in Suriname, a country in South America with the capital Paramaribo, and they speak Dutch. And they have a density of four people per square kilometer. And the national dish is called POM. The more you know. Yeah. The more you know, exactly. Suriname, there's a lot of footballers from Suriname, you know. Uh, Davids, Seedorf, Jimmy Floyd, Hasselbank. There you go. Speaking of football, football's picking, is picking up again a little bit. Half time gone. Not that we pay attention to that. We pay attention to Blood Bowl here. <laughs> Definitely not watching the, uh, the France vs. Australia game at the moment. <laughs> Let's see. So what's happening in this Blood Bowl game at the moment? We've got the first turn for the Rats here. He's knocked somebody down. He's got a stun. That's not too bad. He's looking to set it up in a cage here and see what the Dark Elves do, I guess. Yeah. So you can react to it. Setting up a nice little partial screen there on the, uh, the right-hand side. Always nice if he wants to just run it down there. I don't know why you'd score early on uh, on Rats here. I assume you don't. Hmm. No, no, you definitely. No reason to. Though. You definitely. Yeah. Though, the thing is, though, Mr. Yemen Dime, it doesn't matter if you watch it or not. So if you want to watch it, watch it. And if you don't, don't. Like, it literally doesn't matter, does it? They're getting the same money whether I watch it or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the only reason I'm watching it is because it was left on in the office. No, uh, you know, no no alignment, no, uh, no political talk. It's just I'm watching it because it's on. Yeah, exactly. Let me wants me tell you about Alicante and Costa Blanca. Well, I can tell you that I've never been there. <laughs> there but go. they are very famous tourist spots and the weather should be very nice. And I'm guessing you're asking for the Blood Bowl World Cup that mm. will happen next year. Mm. <laughs> that, was a that was a nice chain into an additional hit, wasn't it? Especially when he was targeting the, the Rackle. That was a pretty nice move, but... um. It did mean exposing his his tackle pommer there, which is a bit dodgy. 
it is. Why, why am I so small, Jim, on the left-hand side? What's this? We want to be able to see Champion Cup, right? Wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Really? <laughs> Where Maybe do we see like Ronaldo going next? Maybe, like, fucking Los Angeles or some somebody like that. <laughs> <laughs> China's calling, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, somewhere terrible. Welcome on new overlords. It's about time for him to. It's about time for him to embrace messy like messy level adversity. <laughs> Playing a league where your team is like should be about three divisions above everybody else. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. He goes. He goes to the uh, goes to the stun there. Manages to get the stun onto the claw pommer. That's not going to be hitting anybody for a for a turn. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Like, obviously, it sucks not having a dirty player of his own. Um, but like, it's just, it's so dangerous this claw pommer that it's worth going for. But then, obviously, Chunnik's going to be quite happy claw mating this guy. Yeah. Which is exactly what he does. The only problem I see is he doesn't have the bench for it really. Yeah. I mean, well, that's why I didn't like player. fouling him. I didn't like fouling him because this was always going to be the blitz Trent was going to do this turn, right? Yeah. So he, he, so he, could the end. Yeah. Well, he, didn't, he didn't get punished. It, like it, it worked out okay. Yeah. Well, if not, he just gets up and just starts, yeah, just starts punching on people, didn't he? Well, he wouldn't punch. That's the thing. He'd probably have to like he'd either stand up and dodge away, or he'd just carry on lying there. So yeah, he was he was risking a risking a send off, but. You know, he, he could have, he could have cast him in any. Did he, did he win the attrition game here on Chanta? Not really, Maybe. but, but he, he can't win. He can't win total attrition, right? Because Chunter has two dirty players, fourteen players, yeah. a claw plumber and a claw mate. Well, this, this is what I'm thinking. You've only got one bench on the delves. I mean, you know, a couple yeah. of good removals, and it's not looking so great. Yes, you can't win overall attrition, but what you can do is you can remove the key players, right? You can remove the claw on me, you can remove the Yeah, claw exactly. Mighty, you can remove the gutters, so... I think a foul is coming. There's an elf on the floor. Mm. Yeah, Wait. if it had tackle, then I think you definitely foul it, right? But when it doesn't have... It, and you can just, like, mark it out of the game, right, for some turns. So, like, you, you can control yeah. it without fouling it. Um... So, oh, more blowback. Hey, man, how you doing? Long time no see. Oh, well, hey. Uh, so, wait a second, Lead BB. You're asking about Alicante because the new intellectual property headquarters is there. That's a very specific place that you're asking about. <laughs> Why is that? No, well, Chun with the it's best. A KO. Mm. Yeah. Only five to break armor there. If he could have got another assist, it would have been a Kaz. Unbelievable, Jeff. There you go. So anything uh, Thomas to do, Chanter can do better. <laughs> um, well, Thomas T can surf this strength four, right? He doesn't have he doesn't have strength, but he can push him to here, and then the and then the witch can blitz him to like there, and then surf him, right? If he can get all the players in. I think that's a lot of dice. Or he could have, or he could have chained this one and pushed him there. That would have, that was even better. Could have punched this guy and chained, chained him to there, and then pushed him twice and then surfed him. And like it's, it's a lot of dice, but I think you've got to try just because the 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 strength four, like a strength four claw mighty guard tackler is an unbelievably good player. So I you think know, he's gonna get the uh, blitzed with the uh, mighty blow. Oh, he's he's gone for the ball, isn't he? He's Thomas T. He's just gonna he's gonna mighty blow tackle and base the ball. Is he? No, he's not. He's gonna pom he's gonna pom the strength for good. Yes, he's gonna he's going yes. That was. Well, uh, this seems just a bit of a weird move. Then I guess it's a bit like a chunter move, right? Just just randomly base a few people. Why why wouldn't you base everybody you can? That's a, that <laughs> was a white roll. roll. Yeah. <laughs> Gets the power off of it, manages to break armor, and he gets and a removal. KO. Glorious. Yeah, move. yeah. He's on tackle, Lord. Does he? Does he dodge away? Yeah, I think this is the last turn action, so he should. He should run away and protect himself. Mm. 
And to be fair, he, to be fair, this is good. He's got three diamond tackles. It's stopping him getting assists for this guy, unless it's the good runner. Like he is doing things here. I was just, I was just, just having a laugh. Plo, <laughs> let me have a laugh, okay? Let me have some fun, please. God, <laughs> having fun and blood bowl? No, <laughs> no. Not playing it. I have a lot of fun commentating blood bowl, but no fun playing it. <laughs> Strength four, which is really nice, isn't it? Really nice. Yes. Um, and yeah, Chumma's in a lot of trouble here. Like, this is the problem that the Skaven have is that their offense is a bit shit, right? Like, their actual offensive drive is a bit shit because linemen are shit. So, like, while gutters are incredible, like, they're not so incredible when they've got the ball and they're just running around, you know, not doing much. So, like, when yeah, the, when just the just L's look get for in a face hole like and this, potato it, man. Well, yeah, but that's the thing. When the L's get in the face like this, they really run out of options really quickly. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's one of I those mean, things. I mean, especially you know. when you get one of your, uh, one of your storm vermin removed. Yeah, but I mean, it's only one player, right? It's he's he's removed great, one yeah. as well. This is not. Well, easy I don't know. I think. I, I think I there's mean, a big disparity in the pieces removed. To be honest, I think Chanter oh, yeah. uh, did the Chanter switch view or something like that. This is a very uncommon movement by Chanter. <laughs> yeah, but he's, he knows he's in. He knows he's in a lot yeah, of shit. Yeah, in big he? trouble. They're in big trouble because that the. the Side step, uh, diving tackle, it's an absolute nightmare. Mm. Yeah, this was the only guy who could freely assist the, the, this blitz, so obviously he's just going to bang. I, I did quite like putting the uh, witch elf on here as well. Like, he could have done right, he, this witch elf could have gone on there. And then that would have protected him from the uh, from this blitz a little bit. So I, I didn't hate doing something to protect him over there. No needs pile on, big sad. Mm. Pile on just for the chance of the Kaz. <laughs> and now, could go the other way. Sander tries to fish for the. Yes, he's going to try to fish for the pow. On the. Wow. What a Guess scumbag. the one D pow. Yeah. What an absolute scumbag. Oh. <laughs> it worked. No armor break, unfortunately, but still, uh, still not great. <laughs> I can't believe you went for that, honestly. Know, right? One more, and it would have broken yeah. armor. And now, what about now that I mean, that what is the uh, tackler is getting pulled in next turn? Maybe what he might do is just. Uh... Blitz this guy with a pom, right? This is a, this guy's a pretty good player to pom. <laughs> yeah. So he might he might just jump up, block the uh, the rackler with a witch, and then uh, get this guy. To oh hit yeah. The, get this guy to hit the gutter. Oh, re -roll goes, get the yeah. dodge goes to the reroll, yeah. Daughter foul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has to see if it does anything. Well, no jump Stand. up block, but there's the bribe gone. So now he probably, now he probably will hit this guy right because he can, uh, he can chain his witch to a bit of safety, which is probably a good idea, and he can still just mighty blow tackle this guy anyway. Exactly. I think I think that's gonna be the the actual. Uh play here unless Thomas T you know decides to open a way the guard being out is so bad for Thomas T here because like it really limits what he can do with just normal assists it's going to take a while to think this is got a lot of options here It is an elf with, with tackle bomb, yeah. Yes indeed, Ducky. Yeah, he pro he probably he probably just uh what sidestep here, block him and cha chains out the like the fact it chains out the uh witch elf is really nice. 
<laughs> I think. I think it's really nice just to chain out the witch. And personally, I would dodge to hit this guy with attack on me. But Chin has got himself some breathing space after this turn, to be fair. Well, right, let's see what happens after the, the that ends because there is more than a few rats getting punched in the face. True, but still, this looks this looks. Not terrible for Chimna. Oh, he's not going for the gutter. No, I mean, he might be going for it with, uh, with the witch. No, but they're not really can. What does he do over here? Like, I don't like. Oh, does the witch elf blitz this one? And assist this. Well, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not hiding witch. I really preferred chaining the witch back to here. Much prefer chaining the witch back to that. He can't do the one D serve. Well, not um, but it's it's not a good idea. Oh God! Well, I hate that. I kind of hate this turn from Thomas T. Honestly, I I really kind of hate this turn from Thomas T. I really hate this turn. Yeah, no, they, I'm not very convinced either. I think uh, that the gutter runner is strength three, guard, side step. Yeah, I don't know how you don't. I don't know how you don't two D this guy. <laughs> like, I just don't know how you don't two D this guy. Like, I'm, I'm not sure why that gutter guy. runner wasn't punched, man. Yeah, or, or you two die this guy, right? You know, like you you could punch here. And then blitz here and 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 block him as well. Like you, you, you want to hit one or both of these, and I just don't know how you don't hit either. And instead, let your guy. I guess he's got I, sidestep, but it's still that diving tackle. Sidestep. Go on, go on, go on. Two into one can be with a frenzy piece with the juggernaut. Yeah. But it's still claw bomb. Is he not just trying to protect the witch there, though? I didn't know that, Randy Turner. Um, yeah, but he didn't even protect the witch, right? He could, he could have chained the witch back to there. Like, so I, di I didn't hit this hit, but it would be to chain the witch to here. Yeah. Because now he can just assist. Now he can just foul the witch with two assists instantly. Instantly has fouled the witch with two assists, if he wants. I think that's what he does at the can, end of the he turn. He can move a player here and two into the, the, this guy. This one's free to do whatever he wants. Oh, there you go. Okay, I don't really... yep. Wait, that doesn't do much uh, no. for the side step hit. Just one bribe for Chunter. He was he was 70 TV down and put in 30 of his own money. Oh, wow, that was a GFI. The minus move gets him. The minus move gets Chunter. Okay, now it's two dice into two. Oh, okay, yeah, gets obviously. The gets the cards. And, and obviously, nice. I, I, I was going to say that's a dead guy. Apple, yep. Apple works. Apple fails. Apple, Apple works. Apple. Uh, the the cards was a three. Apple works. Apple, yeah, yeah the cards were yeah, yeah, the regular one, yes. I was looking at the second error, so. Yeah. Out there. There's that's, no world where you don't. That's fully deserved, though, from Thomas T. Like, he, there was no need for him to allow allow this tackle pom hit. Like, there was no oh, not tackle bomb, claw pom hit. There was just no need to allow it. Yeah, I can feel the equity shifting back. Yeah, and there was I no need to give this assist. The, the, the two assist foul. He could have he could have chained the witch free. Deserved has that's there another as well. injury. Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. I mean. It's 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 lucky it's lucky from Chunter. Actually, bust as well. Yeah, it's 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 really sad for Thomas T, and it's really lucky for Chunter, and it's unlucky for Thomas T. But also, it was all his fault. He could have literally just chained it to here, yes. and he, then he it's no assist. Avoid the, the nearly yeah. on this. 
Yeah, and he could have blitzed the, that and then hit this guy, and he's just... Or he could have blitzed the other gutter and bl blocked him, like, the... He brought this on himself as, like, and now, I mean, now, like, he had a weak turn and Chunas had a great turn. And it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, justice in a way. <laughs> Sorry, no, Thomas I, T. Yeah. Don't watch the VOD. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and I think this is a very important turn now for uh, Thomas T. He needs to get some results here. He needs to get rid of some rats or anything, or uh, this is gone. Mm. He, he at least he's got the saving grace of having that Apo worked and having his uh, you know having a decent player on the substitute line. But I don't think realistically, unless he gets a couple of removals, I don't see any way of oh gets the armor break. Yeah, he's, he's yeah really unless, unless he un unless he gets a couple of removals, I don't see how he's going to stop the rats from scoring. To be honest, mm -hmm. I think the rats are just going to overrun him at this point. Yeah. Spence, hopefully we can see Chun to get a you know a couple of other claw pom hits off. Double skull as well has to use the reroll. Gets two pushes off of it. Yeah, oh. yeah this is more uh, like Thomas T. <laughs> a typical Thomas T game. Yep, he suddenly got no players left. <laughs> And now that the uh, tackle mighty blow side the step is going to die. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't bet against it. Being banged on by rats, man. Yeah. Feels bad. He's got the guard, so he, he could just go in and, and try and power his bludger. But you know he's gotta be a little bit concerned about this tackle mighty coming around the back. So we'll see. I think that's going to be the piece uh, getting hit. <laughs> well, inside the step makes things complicated, but... Yeah, Thomas, that was a great line about Thomas T, shouldn't it, with normal dice? But this this yep. was uh, this was a very, very... I mean, that was a really poor turn when it was played. But yeah, Chunter, if Chunter had played that turn, Chunter wouldn't have had both guys cast. <laughs> yeah. And I, I don't know, King Roth, you should last that to your therapist or whatever, whoever is providing you the help that you obviously need. Ah, he's Sliding going for it. Back a little bit, yeah. He's going for it. Yeah, Come on, Claw Pom, remove another piece. Gets the pal. That's it. Gets that's it. it. Yeah, he gets the pal on. Go on, give the removal. Pal on. No Whoa, oh, lovely. Lovely. Dice it. Sandra have been absolutely dice. <laughs> get fucked. Get off my fucking pitch. I don't know why Thomas T gives side instead of his players. He only gets to use it once per game. Exactly right. That's why I don't like that's why I don't like stand firm. If any of my stand firm guys get hit, they just get powered anyway. You see other people and like they use stand firm like four times in a turn and they're like you're like, wow, that's pretty cool. I'll take stand firm and it's just like instantly cast. At least why, with uh, why is he Go on, go on, go on. At least with uh, size step, you get to choose where you die, so it's got some... some, uh, yes, some yes, yes, that's the famous line. <laughs> I remember we were my pals using that already in the 90s, you know. Oh, so the step, choose where you want to die. <laughs> I don't understand why he's running valuable pieces forward with a claw pommer on the pitch. You're just asking for it at that point. He's like, just yeah. trying to uh, high roll now, I think. Yeah. So just uh, it's a man with a plan and a prayer. I think, I mean... not very good. It, the, the worst thing about that turn was he only had one player, right? If he'd moved, like, this other blitzer, like, here as well, then he can then he can dive into this yeah. cage. He could he could cage dive this, right? This, this guy could cage dive, uh, 2D on the ball, could pow him, pom him, and then he could have picked it up with the edge 5, lobbed it to this guy and scored. But, like, he's got no play because he, uh, he only ran guy, one guy down to get killed. Gets the armor break and gets a removal on a on a line rat. Yeah, which is Not too bad. Helps him a little bit. 
But it just it just makes you wonder. I mean, what is Chunter's drive, right? Why does he not just why does why does Tom Steen not just pull back and try and conserve as much as possible? That's you don't have your appo. That's not Tom Steen. Right. But that's not this Thomas is the thing: Steve. you don't have your appo. Surely you've got to adjust your game plan at this point. You can't roll over them. You're going up against the claw pommer, and your witch is dead. You know. I mean, like, I what, are, what are you going to do? I agree, Faulty. <laughs> I agree. I agree, but that's not how Thomas still likes to play. You can be my mm. wingman anytime. Oh, Rowdy. Oh, Elio. Oh, a Rowdy Red. Coming to see a game with rats. <laughs> Elio, the man that hates rats so much that they stopped playing Vermin died to play the new uh, Warhammer 40k <laughs> game because it has no rats. <laughs> well, imagine, imagine playing rats that bloody much. <laughs> Hello, Elliot. Um, yeah, this has uh, been a bit of a disaster for Thomas T. He's made, he made like, he had one turn that was like, he made not the plays I would have made, and uh, he got punished brutally for it. Important to note for those just tuning in and watching, <laughs> the Apo has been has been used yep. on uh, on Thomas T's side. Yeah. That's the thing. So, any, any Kaz's here... Uh, are really nasty and no potential are coming back. Yeah. He's also what? He's one player down at the moment, assuming that He's a bunch of they don't come back. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So he could he could still be at ten. He could still be eleven. Like he's only lost one person. Yeah. But it's a strength for which that he's lost and his apples. Yeah. Exactly. So he's, in, he's in a lot of trouble as Chunter still has a has a dirty player and still has reserves, so he's still going to keep fouling him. The thing with uh, Thomas T, you know, he plays the way he plays that. But he have to put money on one player, having only five or six players on the pitch, <laughs> being able to pull off absolutely mental stuff. Thomas T will be my names. Random Boy will be another of my names. And probably Chanter will be the other top name, you know, that actually pulls stuff out of their asses and make good plays. Mm. So, uh yes, he has a very... A specific style of game, but Jesus, he's good at that. R Rick and Inari, not two two ones like that. Yes, as well, yes, 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 yes. Rick did some incredible in some incredible ass pulls there the other night. <laughs> nope, only a stun. But Never yeah, lucky. I mean, for him playing with yeah, only half a team, it's a regular game of blood ball, so it's like it's not impressed. <laughs> Uh, and there is, he has a lot of chaos, you know, if the chaos come back, he still has a team. Yeah, he does, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not, it's not over. Don't say it's over. Um, it's really not over, but um, it's looking really You know, he only week. took one cast, and yes, it was a big piece. It was the, the witch. Yeah. But everybody else is there. It's hard mentally, I mean, though, right? That's the, that's the problem. Like, he's got, he's got to come back mentally as well. Uh, Another day in the office for Thomas T. Yeah. <laughs> As I say, so someone you, you, you know to play in these absurd uh, odds. It's Usually, true, true, but it is Chalice, right? And he's, yes. he, you know, he knows he's up against it now, and he, he probably knows he's he's fucked up a bit. So this is the other thing. Chunter's got two more turns, right? I mean, that's that's two more potential claw pom hits, and two yes. more potential removals. Uh, this is the this is the thing. That hit there, that hit there, you know, it will be a power, it was a 55%. Getting rid of that gutter runner will have balanced the scales of the equity a lot. <laughs> and in case you are wondering why uh, Thomas T calls his names incompetent plays and the number of the season, is because when he was playing uh, Crucifer <laughs> one day, uh, I was on uh, Crucifer's uh, stream and uh, Crucifer said, Who's this guy? I don't know. But this guy, you know, playing dark he's like, oh, it's Thomas T, plays a lot of rubber. Very decent uh, player, I think. That. <laughs> he said, eh. but what I have seen, he looks pretty incompetent to me. <laughs> and Thomas T obviously took the joke, and that's why he calls his teams, his teams incompetent plays. Mm. Malala News did one as well, didn't he? That was uh, shockingly bad. That was, that was from an Artemis <laughs> quote. <laughs> So it's pretty cool that people, uh, you know, streamers have inspired people with uh, <laughs> inspirational names like this. <laughs> yes. Another power. See, Chunter doesn't need tackle. You know, this is uh, this is a great. Oh, uses uses Juggernaut as well. Yeah, fair enough. 
doesn't really matter. Could have taken the power. No, but the power moves the witch. Boiling on. Oh, nothing. What is happening? Diced. Man, never lucky. Diced. To be fair, at least that's a few bad dice out of the way. You look at it like that, it's a, you know, that's two ones and a two gone. Yeah. Whatever he decides to do works. next. I yeah, whatever Carly he decides to do next. I think potential of something good. You could, have, you could have pushed her up to there and you could have had an assist here. And then you could have moved, you know, moved everyone down and then got another assist in. So actually, I prefer to take the power, but I guess, I guess using Juggernaut makes him feel happy that he's taken Juggernaut. <laughs> Yes, also, I mean, uh, it would move the, I think, the witch to an easier position to try something crazy. <laughs> now it's harder. Yeah, don't pretend you know how to fish was pretty great, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess he's thinking whether he's going to 1D the Pommer. Maybe. Because surely he's going to block him. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's going to dodge away from him. Probably should, right? He's, this isn't very safe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI. This is a, not a safe ball, so he, he, he can't just foul. Ooh. I don't like this from Chunts. But he does like rolling pals, doesn't he? Every, every single block on a block, just, he's just rolled a pal. He's <laughs> making things easier. Mm. Not gonna lie. And now probably he's going to foul the, maybe the witch. Mm. No, I think maybe he needs to screen a little uh, more. I mean, I think he will foul the witch, but this is an easy hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G5, G5. The problem is, even if he gets it, he's got nothing to really uh, you know, recover with, right? So yeah, Chunter sees that, does the dodge, and stops it. See a reroll for it, but if he doesn't break and gets sent off, he's in the shit. But he does break, so it's fine. Doesn't get sent off either. Nope. So you went max banger there, Chunter. You could have definitely just made it safe. Uh, you know, by moving people and stuff. But... So, I think now you just give up and just uh, blitz the gutter runner. Yeah. yeah. Blitz the gun runner. Armor oh, break gets a KO. Yeah, the ramp it's, removed. It's not bad that Rackler. Yeah, could be. Could be a good player. The KOs are gonna define a lot of it. I mean. In average, most of the players' 2k rolls will come back. Yeah. But uh, who knows? The problem about rolling some 3 pluses to sack the ball is. it won't work. Use <laughs> right. reroll. One. And two, even gets if it them. does work, so what? Like, even uh, if it only works. Gets... Even if it had worked. I mean, no if, it's an, if it's an armor break. But he's just got he's got, got a right here. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's a pickup in the rain, so with no rerolls. Yeah, but... <sighs> still a chance. And but you can unfortunately, still kill you didn't get it. Player, so... <laughs> now we'll see the legendary Dab Skulls. Triple Dab yeah, Skulls. Yeah, he can get 3D probably. Surely he can, right? No problem at all. We we'll wrestle. What a time to rule uh, only passes. Just what he needed. Just yeah. what he needed. Time yeah. to score. One cast, some chaos. Nice. And here we go. Will we see a one right. turn? Well, this is the thing. Depends on how many of them get up. What are we uh, we getting? How many of them are getting up? Two. He's got okay, no so there's a couple movements. of delves up. He's got no plus movements. I mean, he does have sidestep. But he doesn't have is it plus possible? Edge. It's possible, but uh, it's going to be very difficult. I think you just go for it though, right? I think probably not. 
No, I mean, you said this last game. I don't know. If I think if there's a chance, you could go for it. You should go for it. Cole will be saying, oh, this is easy. <laughs> this is so easy. But it isn't easy at all. Well, it's, it's not easy. No, no, of course not. But, you know, if it's a tournament. It's a knockout-style tournament, right? If you've got a chance to go for it, surely you, you go for it. Yeah, well, I, I didn't think I didn't think Chunter would set up this badly. So yeah, you've got to go for it now. Like you have to go for it because also like the attrition probably isn't going to be that big a deal if you get it anyway. Huge KO fails there for Chunter. I mean, Chunter's had one rat come back up. He's still got two out, and we got one. Uh, we got one Delph as well sitting there. He's only got ten players. Wide LOS. It's. It's a struggle to know if this... Like, it, it probably is possible. Uh, almost certainly is possible, but it's not easy. I think and it's I going for the riot. Yep, I think it's maybe not possible for Thomas T. It would be possible for Core, and Core would go for it. But, um... I think, I think you know, there's, certain, there's something to be said for going for it, right? There's something to be said for just going for the kills, because... You know the the fails are, but you, I think you should go for it. Oh, he's going to set up for it. Set yeah, up for yeah, it. I think, I think you should because you got the size. Go on, lad. Right? Go on. So your first block's there. Your second block gets you there, and then and then you've got frenzy to get the last two. So it's actually it's pretty fucking easy. But the the witch elf needs to be here. The witch elf is what makes it easy. So the witch elf has to be here, or at least on the other. Maybe see if he figures it out. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually not hard, right? You blitz in the back, sidestep to here, so you need another player there. Then you or, or whatever, you sidestep to there, punch there, and it goes there, and then and then you, you think it's a little bit tricky with ten players. But um Yeah. He's, he's got a reroll for it as well. He's not he's not gonna do it because he's got the witch in the wrong place. And he's powered. So he could have had the sidestep here, right, and then he could have powered and sidestep to there. You could have another player here, maybe. I don't know if he could have afforded the players out there. It's pretty hard, like, contingency plans and everything with pals. Still possible? I don't think it is. Oh, at least he went for it. That's the important <laughs> at thing. At least he tried. At I least really he don't tried. Think it's possible. Vindication. He's, he's got a witch in the wrong square anyway. If you're watching Thomas T... Your witch elf had to be here, <laughs> so you could have punched with somebody else, and then like so this would have been a normal player, punched him to here, and then the witch elf would have had the last two pushes and filled in all the squares. Yeah, which is in the wrong place. Yep, as Alfred says. Went through though. It's another win for full force and another loss to Jim. No, well, no, it's, it's obviously the wrong. Running it's, tally. it's wrong to go for it if you're not going if you can't do it. <laughs> because he, so now he should block here and chain him out so he can three dice with tackle palm. That'd be a good way of doing it. Yeah. I mean, Chunt has played better as well. To be fair, like it, it's not just the armor dice. The, the, it was. It was such oh, yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, maybe it's a bit harsh to go on about it, but it was such a bad turn from Thomas T. He could have protected his witch and he could have, he could have hit the, uh, the guarder, the strength three guard gutter and the storm vermin, or at least one of them. And he hit neither of them and he exposed yeah. his witch. Like it was such a horrendous turn from him. Um, and like the rest of the players being fine. But when he'd already but, used the apo as well, that was the other thing. Well, I mean, the, the, yeah, he hadn't used the apple when he exposed them, but like he just didn't need to expose them. But like he exposed both players, like yeah. he exposed both players to getting hit on the same turn, and he could have exposed neither, and he could have he could have nailed like everything, and he just nailed nothing, and it was it was awful. But apart from that awful turn, it's been fine. <laughs> it's been fine, um, and obviously this one turn was wrong, incorrect. Um, I don't, he probably shouldn't have set up for the the additional hits if it wasn't a, if it was if it was a power on the first hit, because of the few players he probably just had to go all in on getting the initial pushes, and getting the witch elf, um, hit at the end. So rat KO'd. It was still doable. I disagree, chicken. I disagree. I very much disagree, because you'd have had to we push somebody else forward to get the last hit on push forward. 
We need uh, one of the PTKs uh, that are with us. Yeah, I mean, if Chagan's got Chunter's stream open and PTK saying it's still doable, then it was still doable. But, <laughs> not doable by normal people. <laughs> and it's so much, it's so easy just to put the witch in the right square, right? And do it properly and do it easily. So, like, it's still a terrible mistake to, to, to not put the witch in the right square. How many of the rats get back up and how many of the delves get back up? Let's have a look. No, oh, he's got this the This is important. Yeah, he's so we got still got... Back. Yeah, he's got the... So he's just a lino out, that's fine. And the, you get the delf back. So it's not the worst thing in the world. We still have a game. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's still doable. Like, it's still not terrible for, for Thomas T, but... Like, it, it, like if it was me and Aurelion, we'd probably still be kicking ourselves for that turn that just got him fucked, right? It, 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 it made him use the Apo on a blood step diving tackle, and then his strength for which elf got cast out, like, the same turn. That turn was, it was such a bad turn from Thomas T. And, like, he's got to get out of his mind. I can't get out of my mind watching it, but he has to get out of his mind playing it. And, uh, and also he's got to forget about this... Uh, Terrible one turn attempt as well, and just hope he can bang on men's and store out the half. And and then, even if he does, he might just get one turned on. So, there you go, fun and interactive rats. It's rat. <laughs> <laughs> but if Chanta can remove enough pieces, he can't stop the one turn. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. His apple's gone. Chanta, now. I think Chanta just starts banging on people. I think, yeah, just fouling as much. How much has he got on his? Reserves what he's got. Two. Two, two, players. two players. I mean, yeah, he can just he can just start punching at this point and fouling. Yeah, yeah. It's like he totally can. He can just he can just he can forget the ball for the entire half here, Chunt. Go purely for attrition. And he's still very likely to score the one turn. And then obviously even if he doesn't score the one turn, he's fifty fifty he wouldn't get the ball in overtime. Uh, or he could just try and defend like if the banging goes well. So Rat's pretty good. <laughs> Turns out rats are a pretty good team. When they've got loads of skills and everything. I still think they're pretty bad in NAF style at playing Blood Bowl, but the the great thing about them in NAF style is they don't have to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. It's all about the kick position. Nothing special. Mm. See what happens off these blocks here. Chunt yeah. did have the fin, which got him the uh, re roll. So now four re rolls is a bit. Yeah, and like that's obviously really he good. doesn't have to use them, so the keck would he favours Chunter now, as as well as everything else. But you know the dice can turn, right? If uh, if. Uh, if there's a few removals here for Thomas T, and uh, yeah, then you know the the tide can start to turn. It's not over. Don't say it's over. He's getting the uh, he's getting the armor breaks. Gets yeah. one care. Yeah, if he if he gets if he gets the chaff off the pitch, then then obviously Chunter has to expose the good players. And if he exposes the good yeah. players, and the good players get pommed, then uh, he can lose the good players, and things can go badly for him. Four re rolls is a lot though in a, in an overtime format. Yeah, well, it's a very nice amount. Chigan, let's not say the current best player in NAF. Let's say the current highest ranked player in NAF. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because saying best is kind of stupid. Okay, it's a piece removed. So yeah. lino, but you know, that's one less lino to foul with. To be fair. Yep. Not bad at all. Gets the pick up on the two plus, yep. as he should. What's he going to do with it here? He's just going to run it forward and screen it off a little bit. That's fine. Oof. Right. Let's see how Chunter responds to this. I mean, Thanks he doesn't have many good claw pom targets. Um, no, he, he could got... he could claw mighty um, either of the side steppers, or yeah, this wrestler could, he could claw pom. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just a ranking system, right? And there's problems with every ranking system. And, like, you know, the, 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 like, do you know what I mean? Cord didn't stop being as good because somebody did better in one tournament. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so it's like 
and not that Cole is necessarily the best player in the world either. Like, but it's just like, it just because someone's highest ranked, it doesn't make them the best, does it? I mean, factually, it does. No, but... it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It may, factually, it makes them the highest rank. If you're the, if you're the it number one you the player in the world rank. by rank, then it makes you I mean, rank number one. It doesn't make you the best. I mean, arguably, it does. Arguably but it, no, it it's does. not arguably. It doesn't make you the best. Mm. It doesn't make you the best. It makes you rank number one. It does not make you the best at all. At all. Not in Blood Bowl. It might make it like <laughs> it doesn't even make you the best in in like in real things, right? Like tennis. Do you know what I mean? Like n normally, obviously, the number one ranked tennis player is the best, but they're not necessarily the best, right? Because just the way the ranking works and stuff. <laughs> yes, tennis, yes, tennis Wanger. Different. Well, you know, if only there was like an interesting game to watch instead of boring fucking rats where nothing matters for for eight turns now because you'll just score a one turn. <laughs> <laughs> About table legs, love for Ferrero Rocher. Yeah, yeah, we saw, we saw, we saw Wanger. Goblins came first. Wow. Was wow. was it Yudlagar? I saw Hammers was there. We found out about it because Hammers, Hammers was like, "There's there's a tournament in the northeast," and I was like, "Well, that must be it. Must be at Wangers." <laughs> yeah, Yudlagar. Yeah, well, that's not surprising to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's actually less exciting than you may have thought because yeah Yudi Yudi is pretty fucking good at tabletop uh, alright I'm, uh, I'm back I just went to grab a coffee welcome back oh, glorious did I miss anything I no no it's a nope <laughs> nope a resounding fucking no oh here we go though it's a it, Chunt has done one of the things that you shouldn't do which is expose your pommer to another pommer but then that's the thing right he, he didn't have the players with all those uh those KOs and the stuns. And he obviously thought it was more important to protect the pommer and the there uh, the tackler and the two gutters. You have to fat you have to pile here to Miss T even though you're right next to a dirty player. That's a lovely pile on animation. Yep. Doesn't get it. Fails the uh fails the armor break. <laughs> you missed an epic debate. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off everybody. <laughs> Oh, what a debate! Uh... Missed an epic debate where Jim was wrong. No, Faulty was an idiot. Uh huh. Oh, right, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, same old, same old then. Yeah. Wow, I see how it is. All <laughs> force will remember that. <laughs> I thought for a second that you just went to the Jimmy's oh, uh, hey, Discord to watch my 200 kilos casual squad, you know, as a warm up. Whoa. 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 Oh, he gets the pow. Little oh, bit of chunter okay. dice there. Little bit of chunter dice gets the pow. Oh, no. No armor break, of course. Of course. <laughs> Thomas T thinking, thinking chunt has uh, escaped from Rama 7. But, of course, he gets pommed. Nothing happens. He gets a gutter knocked over. Nothing happens. Uh, to be fair, Thomas T's on top of him right now. He is, uh, yeah. He's knocked a lot of rats down. I mean, it's if chunter doesn't recover this turn, I mean, he might get banged on. He might, but he also might pivotal. just make an instant cast. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean that's an option. And he could just run away and like you know wait till wait for yeah, his yeah. Turn. Now I think the rats here are hearing a bit of a pickle here. I see elves all over the place. Yeah, exactly. They are in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, can't dodge off of this guy, but wasn't really going to. So he's got he's got the strength four tackle mighty, which could hit this guy. Is the most valuable player. But that doesn't really do him a lot positionally. Who knows? Who knows what he'll do? Probably has everything. That's that's where the smart money is. I mean, he's gonna claw mighty blow or something. Yeah. That's. Is this the guard? Oh yeah, the guard is back. Are he's gonna be there? Oh yeah, going for the side. Greeds it, greedy banger. Well, he's got he the re-rolls, uh, right? He has yeah. Re hey, he's got the re-rolls. You might as well, right? Well, I mean, it's risky, right? It's risky. It's a risky re-roll. You've only got Claw Mighty on the hit, and you know there's a decent chance of. Well, there's not a decent. There's some chance of overturn. 
I mean, uh, like, yeah, of, of course, they're gonna play cow, you know, with caution, having four rerolls, Chantra. <laughs> yeah, no, but he could have rerolled into double skulls, right? Like, like the guy against Andy Davo. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's a now he had no reroll for this one D that he could have just skulled and lost a gutter runner for. But of course, and he just rolls a full power. So... Of course, it's Chantra. <laughs> and now gets a foul. Wow, doesn't break AV. And gets so... sent off though, not punished. Yeah, it doesn't Not, sense, no. Nothing happened here, which is very good news for uh, Thomas T because now he's in a very strong uh, position. Yeah, I mean, he, he, has a, he has a fantastic, yes, he can punch everything. The, the guard player is in a beautiful spot. And I think the guard player could be chained. Uh... I mean, the question now is, is, I guess this guy punches him and then you blitz one of the gutters. I guess that's what you're Stop banging on some rats. Yep. Well, guess there we the go. number broken to the injury. Yep. That's yep. another rat removed. For the adding up. Yeah, Chunder's powered like Chunder's powered a bludger every single time he's hit one. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yes, it's, 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 yes, it's, it's been uh, spectacular. <laughs> and the one no, time he, he didn't, he re-rolled it. I think he missed once. <laughs> yeah, he re-rolled it, didn't he? When he didn't. <laughs> yes. He missed once, and I think the three dice were also uh, oh. only. Uh... Oh god, look at that! Nothing. You'll do nothing. Yeah, I think I would have done that hit first to see if I got him down. Because then, if I hadn't got him down, then I would have blitzed him. You know. Because you really, really want the direction. That down. That that is a good question, Neiman Russ. They should have like they should have a a great battle of Rick Dice versus Chunter Dice. <laughs> I would like to see who wins that. <laughs> Isn't there some analytics you can run it through and definitively say? No, because those analytics are fucking mental. <laughs> Which one? Say about the dice in? Yeah, dice or not, I guess is what folks ah, yeah, thinking that's, of. That's, 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 you know, a place where people go to complain. Yeah. yeah it it's doesn't not have uh, serious. Yes. Because, you, you know, if someone can uh, one deep power you, you know, 20 times in a game, but nothing happens and they were the wrong uh, blocks. And then that is called once an important one that makes them uh, lose yeah. the game, you know, so... This is interesting. This is a little bit. This is a bit, little bit lax, isn't it? Ball protection. I would have thought one up, so he can't get any assists on you. Chunder might think of he can go around. Like he's moved nine, right? I don't know if he can get around or not. But he might think about getting around. He, like I th he might think about it. I don't know, but he might think about it. They have exactly the same dice, but they, they are so happy when they get the good results that they and they ignore the bad results that makes <laughs> them look like they have you know amazing dice. Well, it's it's more that like they do things. Well, Rick tries to get lucky, and Chunter, like people think he should get unlucky more than he should. If you see what I mean, like you shouldn't yeah. actually break Skaven armor every time you knock them over, right? But every time you knock over a Skaven, don't break their armor. They're like what? Didn't break his armor? Do you know what I mean? Like so that that's yeah. more how it is. Having said that, he makes this hit and instantly removes the guy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a little bit lucky. He got pommed, took nothing, hits back, gets a removal. Another power as well, by the way. Another power on a blodger. <laughs> He's just powering every single time. <laughs> but ultimately, ultimately in this match, Thomas T had that terrible turn, and that's what's cost him so far. Yes. He, even despite how one sided the dice have been, that one bad turn is what's cost him the most. So it's not like the dice have been, you know, extremely one set because uh, Thomas has also made a good amount of chaos and cars and armor breaks. I think the center ones are more spectacular because it happens to bloggers. <laughs> they've been, they've been, they've been pretty you know? bad though. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, Thomas, you know, uh, chaos and line run. Uh, <laughs> center pounds with one dice and <laughs> <plus> set. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Another another non-armor break. <laughs> I think this could be the turn that Thomas C can, you know, get total control. Well, not total control, but a big chunk of control of the half here. Yeah, because yeah, he can uh, hit. Uh, he has some beautiful hits. Pretty good. You can get the ball far away. Not really safe, but far enough away that it's probably safe enough. <laughs> you can't knock over that guy. <laughs> In the worst way, he doesn't knock him over. Like, even the push right would have given him the instant 2D here, yes. but now he has to bring in the assist for the 2D. Yeah. Gets another oh. removal though. That's good, that's a dirty player. Yeah, the removals are piling up a bit. Like, it is going to be hard for Chunter to stop the score, and I guess Thomas T can put sidesteppers on the LOS to stop the one turn. So, we might yet see overtime. Also, the rain is a factor also for the one turner, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think you just. Uh over here, right? Take them away, move around. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. I mean, it hasn't been a comedy mega dicing or anything, but it's been. I'd be pretty I'd be pretty unhappy if I had got Thomas T's dice. Let's put it that way. But it's it's not it's not a comedy mega, like and ultimately the biggest the biggest impact was his mistake. And with a one turn, right? So the one turn mistake and that, that turn that those guys got hit. Is he gonna go all around the houses to blitz with this guy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He can't even blitz now because he did that hit first. So he could 1D blitz. Chunter would power and Kaz. What will Thomas T do? Well, a Kaz is on the cards. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Thomas T probably shouldn't even hit here. Because it's almost a guaranteed skull, but let, let's see. No, not a skull! Oh, great result. Dream result for Thomas T. Best dice of his life. Put the lottery on, mate. <laughs> it's time for the millions. It's time for the millions. <laughs> yeah, Blitzer didn't die on that hit. Holy shit. <laughs> Like, I honestly wouldn't have even done, done the hit. Like, I know, like, it's not that bad, right? On a one, you go down. But on the two, it's kind of bad for you as well, right? So, like, you, you're using a three, and it's costing you a square of movement. I kind of just like going in here and then just, like, getting in there and not risking your guy dying. Like, honestly, I, I think it wasn't worth to do a one D, which sounds a bit stupid, but, you know, things aren't going well for you right now, so. No need to tempt fate. I guess he can do some kind of blitz and hit and change Defending and maybe get two into two here somehow. Like, could GFI to hit him and then he's got guard for this hit, which is pretty nice, isn't it? 
or he could just hit this guy, maybe even from 3D. Got a lot of options, chunts. Could blitz him and then and then pom him. Yeah, I mean, actually pomming the guard is better, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, let's do it this way, yeah. Yeah, this is the Ooh. Interesting. So you could hmm, you can't get the guard in here. Well, and it wouldn't work anyway. So I'm not sure I like this. Well, I'm sure I don't like this by Chunter, I should say. I actually like just blitz, uh, chaining the gutter back out and then and then hitting the guard with pom. Like pomming the guard is all right. Is Chunter gonna uphill into a 1D? No, he's gonna, he's gonna sacrifice the rookie gutter. Well, I mean, this is certainly a more chunted play, isn't it? It gets everybody hit. <laughs> he gets two gutters hit doing it this way, so I guess that was the obvious choice. Doesn't pile on. Flip me. Yeah. Still, I think uh, Thomas T is on the advantage here. If 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 Chunter one D powers again with his hit, <laughs> no, he dodges. All right, that's sensible as well because it stops it stops in the system there. But I guess it gives him a system. As well. I mean, you just punch everybody here, don't you? Not rocket science. No oh, big armor break there. Mm. Could have made this a three D. Didn't have to. I'm not sure whether it was correct to make it a three D, but he could have done. I mean, I don't see how oh, not doing it 3D can be the absolute perfect play. <laughs> Increase those uh, block dice numbers. Yeah, but it, it would it would like be a bit of a cost, right? With like, nah, it was too things. much. Yeah. You don't have that many players to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It might have been all right, like because you've got three players here. Like it might have been all right to make it a 3D. Like I, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to think more than I'm willing to. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to think more than I'm willing to to decide if that was a good play to 3D or not. Well, this is pretty. No, uh, that's not that nice. But at least you can punch it, the Pommer again and then hit him. I thought it was really nice because I thought, you know, you could 3 dice him, but obviously he's strength 3, so you don't get the 3 dice him. have to hit this guy, you don't have to hit him. Okay, yeah, he's dodging, yeah. Oh, this is only a 1D as well, because he's guard. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, do you take the 1D here? Because if it's a push, you just free him. Yeah, but he could have 2 d the gutter, which he could have thought about, but then obviously the gutter could have gone here, and then Maybe he's got you into trouble. Open the cage and then this guy could have come in, maybe. I don't know. You couldn't do the one day, I don't think. But now, of course, Chunt might do some kind of chain here. Which you've got to think about as well. So, maybe he could have just dodged off for this blood stepper. 
But yeah, obviously Junkers has got two two instant, which is not ideal, is it? I mean, the good thing is Chunter's really got hardly any players left at this point. As dangerous as, as few players are. Bomber, but with Jagger now, that's really powerful. Yeah, fre Frenzy on the Claw Bomber is is a bit shaky strength three, right? I really like Frenzy on a Beastman Claw Bomber because he's strength four. Yes. Um, but yeah. But Jagger now, this has really nice. Really nice. <laughs> But like it's good sometimes, right? Like, and, and at the end of the day, if you if you're a high risky, high rolly type person like Chunter, then it's you just look at the upside, don't you? <laughs> I mean, uh, the the general makes that you kill uh, pieces with wrestle much easier. Yeah, but you, you're still running the problems of like you know often oh, scaling yeah, yeah, down yeah, down yeah, and, and the frenzy traps, and it's like, but if you just roll like Chunter, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but I mean, Chunter loves the frenzy pieces and the complicated situations. Hmm. I mean, it's right. I mean, yes, should be being a tackle juggernaut will be have been much better. Probably, yes. Yeah. Right, I mean, the dodge off here is fine. So, and he's got loads of players back here, so you can you can blitz the strength four and then move ev with Mighty Blow and move everyone over here. Or you can blitz the gutter with strength with a mighty blow if tackle if you want. But just hitting the strength four seems pretty nice. Really nice and getting the ball totally safe. Yes, I was I was going to say that yes, but for the you know uh, the the bash he has the strength for uh, claw mighty. Yeah, it's only claw mighty though, right? Like that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guard is good, but. Oh no! Like funny enough, like him having frenzy would have been incredible, right? Like because he's strength four then, so he can he can use the frenzy pretty safely. Like uh, strength four, strength three frenzy is is pretty terrible. And the thing that saves it for the elves is is having edge four and dodge as well. So like it only hits when it has to, doesn't it? The uh, the witch elf, and if it doesn't have, if it if it's a bad hit, it just fucks off because it's edge four and blotch. <laughs> Whereas that storm women don't have that luxury. Now they uh, have uh, necro wolves and look at them. Yeah, I mean necro ne wolves. Necro wolves. The frenzy on them is is it's a serious drawback, isn't it? A lot of the time. Yeah, it really is. I kind of hate moving the ball and everything first. Like I want, I want to hit this guy and see what happens to him. But I guess you can just use the mighty blow to blitz him if you don't power him. Which of course you don't. Oh no, he's not even hitting him. Okay, he's just going straight with a mighty blow hit. Or the witch elf, either one actually. The witch elf could, uh, the witch elf could dodge. But then I guess you don't want to risk the fail dodge. Could three dice him. Oh, I quite like three dicing him. Could have stood him up, and moved him in, then three dice this guy. Really like that. Big block here. Nothing. Uh, oh, I really, I really like three dicing. Him. Get the guard on him as well. Yeah, yeah, the guard needs to be in the general area. And try 
going for this 2 plus over here so we've got a bit more options. Oof. That doesn't achieve much. No. Yeah, like do you know what I mean? Like if this if this guard's here and this guy, yeah. Uh, guard also, just, just, uh, just quietly, uh, the Skaven only have five players left on the pitch. You know, just quietly. Yep. Yep. No, yeah. Like I mean, but you know, Thomas D's got like a pommer and a mighty blow. Had a pommer and has got a mighty blow. Like you, you would think he would have made some removals this half. And like obviously after he made the initial removals, uh, that like that stopped the DPS and fouls and stuff. So like. He did get up on the front foot early on, but you know. Sorry, Chunt six players, six players. Yeah, left. yeah, it was this one. Yeah, and Chunna hasn't really so, done anything, has he? He's only removed one player. Well, a big one, but it's a KO, so. Yeah, this has been a bad half for Chunta, to be fair. Yes, I mean you have the spare players, you know, for overtime or something like that. But we were talking about the drive, you know. Now, running very short in numbers versus elves is not the kind of a uh, situation you want to get into, and. Mm. Putting your players the same way Thomas do, Thomas do, do, you know, putting your rats in the face of the elves yes. is not going to make things any better. Yes, exactly. He's, he's, uh, it doesn't look that he's, like he's got lucky, but, he, you know, he, he's, he's still got all of his good players, hasn't he? Um, and he's taken out he's taken out Thomas D's best player, so... It's somehow ended all right for him. Oh, he's going all right for him. Here we go. Base, base, base. I have to say that I actually enjoy watching this kind of blood ball, you know, basing in your face and all that. It's a good entertainment, very oh, good yeah. old-fashioned blood ball. Yeah. You know, none of them ever thought for a second of doing a DACA or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah Chunta did, like, Chunta was just all contact all the time, wasn't he? And it, yeah, it can be fun to watch. Yeah. Not yeah, fun I to mean, play against. Frustrating to play against because, uh, like, yes. you do feel like you should break scave, like, particularly gutter runners. You definitely feel like you should break their armor every single time because they're so fucking overpowered, right? Whenever you get one down, you're like, why doesn't it die? It's a bit like Amazon's as well, right? When you finally power the fuckers, you're like, why haven't I killed it? But, you know, you've got a good chance of not breaking armor on that. So it's like, it's not as bad as you think it should be, basically. <laughs> I mean, with all this, it's just a two plus to walk away. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's Thomas D isn't in any trouble here. He can just punch things, and then if he gets bored with punching, he can dodge, or he can just keep punching. I mean, he has instant uh, to die uh, on the frenzy piece. Yep. Instant uh, blitz on that. There you go. Yep. <laughs> Another non break. <laughs> Disgraceful. Now the question is, you hit the club on bed. I guess it has to be with the it has to be with the diving tackle piece. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought he might have come in and punched this guy, right? Because he could have made it strength six, because he's strength five with the guard. He could have made it strength six and just punched him with mighty blow. But I guess he's gonna punch the gutter. No, but he can't very easily. Don't know what he's doing. I guess the witch could run around here, couldn't it? The witch could well, run around. The, the witch can, can uh, blitz, can blitz the He's He's pylon. Already. Oh, yeah, got the blitz. Yeah, yeah. So the witch could come around mm -hmm. here, and then the the mighty blow can hit this gutter. That's probably the best thing you can do at this point. Oh, wait, yeah. oh, no, don't blockless block. A blockless Whoa. block! Turn 15 blockless block, that's really bad. Free so it still did it. Piece. Still Free did it and it went off. Piece. That diving tackle is pure gold right now. Where does it go here? Oh, there just just a body rather than a diamond tackle this one could go here and then you punch this with mighty blow that seems good it gets you off it gets you off this guy and it and it gets you a mighty blow here on here yeah 
Get the pow. Get the pow. With mighty blow, oh, an armor break. What's this sorcery? Only a stun. But more than enough. As well. More than enough. That rat is nearly. Why well, didn't make the 2D there? What? Did you run out of time? I think he ran a lot of time. Or maybe he didn't want to risk. A... I guess if you push him, he's not on tackle, but oh, I don't know. I think I think. I'd I mean, it's an IG5 leap piece. Yeah. You've got a chance to power him. I think you'd take the chance to power him, you know? You're 30% to power him. And if you power him, you're 42% to break AV. Yeah, I would have gone for the block as well. Oh, and he's just, he can just hit the ball. <laughs> this fucking diving tackle just did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> I didn't really get why he stood Lol. there. Like I thought here or here or something. I thought he was uh, going to be, you know, in contact with one of the other uh, fellas. All right, now the IG5 leaper comes, pick up the ball, sure hands. There you go, mate. Mm. It's in a ball's in an open position anyway. He fell the uh, fell the scatter. Yep, leap to here. Scared off. Yeah. Leap to here. Defending so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, easy. seven, eight, nine. And then punt. Now's a great time to punt because if you get it up here, they just, you know, almost certainly can't score. Always glorious. Always punt. Never wrong. It's not over the gym, <laughs> but this danger is look close. Yeah. Wow. He sees it. Not even need to use dodge or sure hands or anything, you know, that's uh, for weaker players. I mean, uh, good player from Trinidad to see that he had an, yes. an instant 2D hit on the ball, like a 3-2-2. Yeah, two, and he two, just two throws it down. Jeez, man. <laughs> man, what a perfect pass. <laughs> yeah. Yep, out well, of range. GG. Jeebus. Has he got any, has he got any pushes into it? I assume not, right? There's no um, way of doing it. Maybe, right, he's got the witch, so maybe he can punch this guy forward, then then punch it twice somehow. Or maybe, maybe. Like, it's really hard. I wouldn't want to uh, use my brain power on figuring it out. You have brain power? Yeah, now, uh, Dobasi probably will be <laughs> thinking, I should, I should have tried to power that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, or at least protect yeah. the ball. Like this diving tackle could have been here, and then it's way better, isn't it? Or Sometimes like, you just gotta go know. full space cadet, though, man. Anywhere that it you know? wasn't. Yeah. Uh well, he's just gonna try and do as much damage as possible now. Yeah. The rat's moving on. Yep. Congrats to Chun. I mean, he definitely played better, didn't he? So. Yeah, not not the best yeah, game there was a, Thomas T player, no. Yeah. no. Don't watch the were, VOD. There were a few, uh, not that many mistakes, but they were big. Enough to give Chanter an opening. Um, eight out of nine, Samich. Eight out of nine. Well, the same oh, as to be fair, square. To be fair, it's what happens when you don't run assassins. <laughs> yeah, he asked for this by not running assassins. Yeah, exactly. a few stabs there on the gutter runners, you know. Yeah, if he'd had assassins, yeah, two assassins yeah. would have won this. Imagine, man, you could have killed the gutter runners. Turn two, it would have been great. Yeah. Oh well. Does he incur any damage? Doesn't incur any damage off of it. I mean, to be fair, Chunter's team has come, come, you know, like it's it's fine, like. I don't see any problem with it. Like he's oh, gonna he, sack he lost that. An AV. He lost an AV. He's gonna. Oh, like, what is he sack that? Man. It doesn't matter. I'm yeah. So fucking In obsessed with rats. I mean, you're about to go yeah. on holiday. Oh, he's not gonna care about it. But like, I mean, it has taken something. With that's the team. All. <laughs> you just decide to play more fucking rats. Yeah, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Well, they all add up when you've got a million of them. You know, like loads of his. It's hilarious how bad his line rats are. They've all they've got loads and loads of injuries. But yeah, none of them really yeah, matter because do. what ma what matters is. I mean, this could have mattered, right? The mines move there could have mattered. He ended up having to make a GFI that you're all the one for. So like. 
They do occasionally matter, but yeah, obviously he doesn't care about them. They're just they're mostly just meat shields to get in the way of people. Um, and yeah, and wow, ended up made more AV breaks to Thomas. I guess he did make a bunch of removals, didn't he? Um, and I guess they dried up for Chunter, I guess, in the second half, uh, apart from like the key removal. But yeah, I do think Chunter had the better dice, but yeah, obviously he had by far the better player. Well deserved win. Congratulations, Chunter. Commiserations, yep. Thomas T. Thank you very much, Fymir and Fault Force. Lovely to have you in the booth. Glorious fellas. Glorious as always. Always <laughs> a pleasure to be here and Allah. Uh... Good bye to our viewers in uh, Suriname. I hope you enjoy this uh, high contact game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> yep. Uh... <laughs> and, uh, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.